For daily skincare, it's actually quite easy uh, when you think about three general steps, face washing, face moisturizing, and sunscreen. Uh, washing your face should be done twice a day, uh, morning and night. You should use a gentle face wash that doesn't have many ingredients in it, uh, one that doesn't contain acne ingredients unless instructed by your physician. Uh, then you should choose a moisturizer for your face, one that um, is non-comedogenic or sometimes that's called won't clog pores or oil-free. Uh, it should have a sunscreen in it with at least an SPF of 30 and also uh, should be broad spectrum. Um, as far as sunscreens go, uh, again, those same rules apply. You should use one that has an SPF of 30 and is labeled broad spectrum. Uh, an easy way to know which is broad spectrum is to look at the ingredients. Uh, if it has zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, um, it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It should be applied to all sun exposed areas um, and should be reapplied every two hours uh, or after getting wet or sweating. Um, and should even be applied on cloudy days. Now I invited Peggy here today with me to talk about something really important and the topic is... Double cleansing! Yay! We as girls wear makeup every day so we definitely need to make sure that everything is cleansed, is cleansed and washed off on a daily basis otherwise whatever's accumulated will cause you damage for your skin in the long run. Okay so what do you use to wash your makeup off at night? Um, I use... I, I like to use a... Um, it's green and, and cleanses <laughs> this area very well. Oh, uh, this eye makeup, makeup remover? Yeah. yeah. And then I wash my face with face cl cl cleanser. And that's it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it right. No. Well, first of all, eye makeup remover is obviously only designed for the eye area. So eye makeup removers are very gentle because it's suitable for the eye area. Yeah. So to actually wash it off, you need a proper makeup remover. Let me take that again. <laughs> uh, when I'm really tired, I just use a um, sort of like a wipe just to make. Oh my god! Mm -mm -mm -mm. I, I know there's a lot of beauty beauty gurus and, and makeup gurus out there who like live by these wipes. I mean, these wipes are great for convenience. I mean, yeah. Especially I have to make, especially if you're traveling and you want to bring all your right. bottles with you. It's so convenient. Just wipe it through, chuck it in the bin. That's it. Yeah. I understand that, but those are the worst. It's actually damaging your skin because a lot of them do contain alcohol, which is obviously bad for your skin. Oh. So they do irritate uh, your eyes. And if you have sensitive skin, it's a definitely no no. Here I am to enlighten you. <laughs> So everything that is initial uh, makeup remover is only removing the makeup on the surface layer. So whatever is still trapped underneath needs to be removed again. That's why the double cleansing is involved. So make sure you double cleanse um, every day if you have makeup on because that would just do you so much more in the long run because your skin actually tend to age a lot faster if you don't cleanse the makeup properly and you also tend to have breakouts which we don't want and worst cases you get skin diseases which we don't want because the bacteria will grow and it will get infected and that's a no-no. I must go cleanse my face. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> well let's let's talk about um, different type of skin. Obviously we all have different type of skin um, and we are using different type of products to address these problems. I have normal combination. For normal to combination skin, I would recommend use an oil cleanser, which is actually really good because if you wear a lot of makeup, the oil cleanser actually helps to squeeze and like just cleans out all the gunk from your pores and you wash it off with water, so it's amazing. Yes, that I want. So after that, you need to double cleanse. And what I mean by double cleanse is whatever makeup that you are still, that's still left on your skin, you make sure that it's removed. So any makeup residue um, and also cleanser residue. So you use either a foaming cleanser and or a milk cleanser. For dry skin, um, definitely there's a lot of um, eye makeup remover that you can use that is gentle for the eyes, but for the face, I'll also recommend you to use something more of a um, milky or a creamy texture. Okay, so for oily type of skin, which is what I have, um, I use an oil cleanser. People actually ask me, if I have oily skin, why should I use an oil cleanser? Yes. It's funny because oil and oil compel each other. So just make sure you remove, again, double cleansing it off with a foaming cleanser.